Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about another type of operator that is commonly found in vector calculus, and it is called the Laplacian operator. So basically what it means is that you have this um, Nabla operator, or this Del operator, and it looks like it's square, but it's not actually square. It just simply means that you have the second derivative of some scalar function. So the way this works is as follows. You're going to apply this to some scalar function phi, and basically you're just going to add up the second derivatives of that scalar function so you're gonna have the following phi plus delta double set phi so those are the second derivatives with respect to each of those variables now where does this actually come from? well the idea is that if you have the gradient of a, of a scalar field you know that this is actually going to turn out to be a vector so it's it can be written in the following manner we have partial of y with respect to phi and then partial with respect to z of phi now in order to obtain an, an expression for the second derivative is if we want to return to some kind of scalar field from here since this is a vector well we need to take the dot product with another vector and that's going to return the expression to a scalar field so one thing we could do is we could take the dot product with respect to the del operator once again of this gradient up of this gradient field which is a vector in itself and then this is going to be as follows we know that the del operator is defined as the first derivative and it is a vector so you have this and then set and you're going to take the dot product with respect to this right here so we have this phi of phi and then partial with respect to z of phi now if you multiply element by element and then just add them together this is going to give you this operating on partial effects with respect to phi and then partial of y operating on partial of y with respect to phi and then finally partial set acting on the partial set of phi and we know from the properties of operators, so basically if you have the following differential operator acting on another differential operator, what happens is that this is going to turn out to be an operator of higher order. So basically this is going to become a second derivative that looks like this. And basically in shorthand notation we just represent it in this way. So what's happening here is you're multiplying these operators together, so this is exactly what's going to happen. So this is going to become this expression right here then this one is going to become this expression here and finally you're going to have this expression so it turns out that by taking the dot product of the del operator with respect to the gradient of a scalar function you obtain the Laplacian of that or the Laplacian operator acting on that expression and then basically this returns us to the original problem now, where might this actually be useful? Well, the thing is that this is used quite a lot in describing partial differential equations. So just to give you a few examples of where you might see this kind of notation. One of the main ones you, you might come across at some point is called the Laplace equation, which is essentially just the Laplacian operator acting on some scalar function. So if you were to write this in something like two dimensions, you would do the following. plus partial of phi with respect to y squared and this is equal to zero so this would be a second order linear partial differential equations uh, and you notice that it is homogeneous so there's no function on the other side it's basically just the derivatives another uh, another type of equation where you might see this is called the Poisson equation which is just like the Laplace equation but it's just the inhomogeneous case so you will have this equal to some other function and then the idea is kind of the same and then you will have equations in which you will kind of just combine these things together so you might have something like this and then this might be equal to some partial derivative of the function with respect to time so in that case what you would have is something like the wave equation or something like a heat equation so there are a lot of things that that can be used and normally because this is such a convenient way of writing it this is the kind of notation that is used so the Laplacian operator in itself 
it's not something that we use to compute things, but it is something that we use to represent things in a more compact form. And we'll, just to show you how this can be used, let, let's have a look at some things we can do. So let's say we have a, the following scalar function. So let's have the function equal to x squared y plus z cubed x plus e to the x y. All right. So now the first thing we need to do is, well, we could just take the gradient of this and then take the dot product or take the divergence of that gradient. Well, what we can do is just take the use the Laplacian operator to operate on it directly. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to have this operate on the whole function plus second derivative with respect to y operate on the whole function and then second derivative with respect to z acting on the whole function again. So in the first case, if you differentiate this twice with respect to x, what are you going to get? Well, the first time around, actually, I'm just going to do it. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit complicated, but let's do it. So you're going to get 2xy. So this is the first derivative with respect to x. And then we're going to have plus z cubed. And then here we're going to have plus y e to the xy. And of course, this is going to become, because this is the first derivative with respect to x of the whole scalar function, we want the second derivative. So we differentiate this again with respect to x, we get 2y plus y squared e to the xy. And then here, what are we going to get? Well, let's differentiate it with respect to y once first. So this is going to become x squared. And then here we're going to have plus x e to the xy. And then once we differentiate it again with respect to y, this becomes x squared e to the xy. And then finally, with respect to z, well, this is just going to be 3z squared times x. And then one more time, this is going to become 6zx. So now if we put it, all of this together, it turns out that the Laplacian of this scalar field is going to be 2y plus y squared e to the xy plus x squared e to the xy plus 6zx. So that is it. That is basically what we're going to get. We could have gotten the same thing if we just computed the gradient of this function first and then just applied um, the divergence operation to it. So that's something that you can do just to show that this operation here is equivalent to that. But this is a general idea, and the main the main thing that we use the Laplacian for is just to represent partial differential equations that are very common in physics in, in a more compact form. So we won't dwell too much on this. It is just to let you know that uh, this kind of operator exists. It is just called the Laplacian, and it is just the scalar sum of all the second derivatives of a scalar function or a scalar field.